Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over day seven of the Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Um, yeah, and we have the contest in about eh, maybe two hours. I'm going to say two hours. I don't know. Daylight savings is always a little bit weird, though. I guess that hasn't happened yet. Anyway, um, yeah, today's problem is multiply strings, and it seems like a very classic problem of doing big int by yourself. This is actually, I would say, way back in the day because this is considered quote unquote practical problem and also in a lot of the languages uh maybe i don't know and, and this is early 2000s so maybe when i say back in the day i mean really back in the day um c plus plus didn't have a library for big end or maybe boost i think but um there's a mess to set up or at least back then i don't know maybe I, google was not as good as well so maybe it was just hard to set up because there was no googling but um yeah uh so those languages didn't have one java was the one that the only one that had one which is why um in the past when i did top coder uh, i did things in java because there's a big int library not only because of that but that was one of the things i've got i was like oh, okay i could just use big int dot pass int or whatever it is right um so yeah so that's one thing i would say um but now obviously well two things one is that computers are much faster memories is much cheaper i used to remember that i had a had a had a 200 meg hard drive and that was like wow why would i ever need any more space and now even my my current laptops uh ram or even this video is probably bigger than 200 uh, megs at least uncompressed right so whew, so uh, so definitely the world has changed we don't really care that much about big int anymore but it is kind of sometimes interesting to do um and there in uh, sorry, I have to catch my breath from time to time about talking because I just kind of recovering from a little bit feeling unwell. So I think my throat's a little bit um, not so great. But in any case, uh, so there is one additional thing, fun fact that I would say. Um, I mean, one is that I'm just going to do this in uh, what I would call the um, the schoolyard multiplication. Maybe there's a, I forget what it's called, but basically just each number at a time and then sum it up, right? Um. Yeah, uh, and that, it's a little bit of a mess, but we'll spend maybe 20, 30 minutes on it because uh, it is what it is, right? Um, and then the other thing is that there is a, a an algorithm. Let me see if I could. Let me. Uh, I don't know. How, so I find, I got this. I Google just for a spelling real quickly, but um, but is it called to? I always been meaning to implement this, to be honest, when I was younger, but it, I never really thought it was necessary. But basically, it's just to do multiplication in um, uh, in a faster manner, which back in the day really mattered for time sensitive situations. But but anyway, it, it, it's um, it's actually interesting to see the mathematical manipulation of the formula. So so yeah, so I would recommend doing that. Um, yeah, so here today, I mean, I know that it's very obvious that you can just do something like this in, in Python. Um, or maybe it's not, but I don't know. But anyway, this, so this would work. Um, but obviously, this is a little bit, this would make it really silly. Um, I just have a big number that I'm lazy about. Right? So this would work, but of course, um, you're solving a problem, but you're not learning anything, right? Uh, oh, did I? Oh, whoops, I mistyped. But but you get the point, right? Like, I, I see this in, in some of my Discord and also just in discussion where people do this something like this. But remember, at the end of the day, you only you get to choose what you learn and not, no one's going to for, for uh, i guess the judge tries to as much as can but no one forces you to do whatever but whatever you want to learn you have to practice and if you want to learn it then you have to practice it and this is not that bad but and conceptually is not even that hard it's just learning uh it's just doing it right and the idea is just basically uh yeah doing multiplication in this way one digit at a time so here uh Okay, I'll use a calculator because I don't want to get it wrong. But, you know, uh, this is in the schoolyards. So now you have 738, and then you have uh, 615. Uh, maybe I should add more space to do, to do. 
right? Because uh, this is times six plus plus uh, 615. This is 120 times 50, uh, to whatever you want to say it, and so forth, right? Dot, dot, dot. I mean, this is very basic. This is something that everyone uh, should have learned in grade school, or elementary school, or whatever it is. So we're just going to implement that. Um, right now, though, we do have the advantage of, I know that there's a, a built-in thing, but we, uh, but, and in the past, I might not have done this, but here we can, ooh, block in. Uh, we can't build an abstraction is what I was going to say. So let's have a string, let's call it x. Uh, and then it's just... Mm. So if I would also say one more thing for optimization is that way back in the day, what, would you, what you would do for really tight optimization is actually store them in a... In, in, you know, I mean, so you can store them in base 10 digits, but the really, really space optimal and therefore some um, time optimal as well, uh, not in terms of complexity, because the complexity is the same, but but more efficiency more uh, is to have a base 2 to the 32 using unsigned int or something like that, right? So those are the things that I would say, and you can maybe even do two, a little uh, a little bit less than, or 2 to 16 if you want to be uh, not worry about whatever, but... But yeah, but those are the things that you can do. But for now, I am just going to have um, the digits. Um, which is just in the... Um, uh, uh, for D in X, right? So this should be good. Um, so this should give you everything in, a, in an array. Uh, let's print it out real quick just to make sure because I am really bad sometimes um yeah okay so this looks what, what we thought we would like so that's good hmm. what what is this why do we print this oh we print this with oh i didn't need to have a print here whoops okay but in any, any case so yeah so the idea of, of it is the same thing as the other thing, which is that we have this, um, multiply, and you know maybe you could play around with operation overload, but um, so, but something like this, right? Um, hmm. I think technically speaking, um, more Pythonic is something like this, and then we implement uh, this, right? And then here we can just do uh, what do we want to do? Um, yeah, something like that, right? Oh yeah, the um. And of course, in this case, technically, you. Mm, what was I going to say? Actually, but, oh yeah, technically, you should. Um, if you really want to be more careful, you should one. Um, you should definitely do like type check and stuff like that on this, or maybe implementation chat, or and you can also play around with different things if you really, really want to build your library. But here, we'll, we'll go for it as simple as possible. So yeah. Uh, so okay and of course this is not going to be as fast or efficient as if we had something else but yeah how do we want to do it hmm. in terms of implementation right so we have something like hmm, for um I, mm, well, we do want to use the least significant digit first so that we can handle the carry. So let's do that. Um, yeah, I guess it really doesn't. Actually, now that I think about it, I thought we, I would use maybe some sort of big int add, but actually maybe it's not even that necessary because we have enough room. So, so let's do that. Um, so now for... 
Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know that this is the cleanest way to do it, to be honest, because I think I could do this a little bit better. But, 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 let's do it this way. Uh, but we do want to reverse it, actually. So maybe I, I think about it a little bit backwards. Um, the reason why I, I think I want to reverse this is because I w want to... Uh, I think it doesn't really matter, but I, I think it makes it slightly easier for me um, to have it been reversed because then now I have the least significant digit in the beginning, which makes some of what I want to write now easier. Uh, and of course, I now have to reverse this. And now then I can do I is in... Um, and this is probably, to be honest, a bad abstraction. <laughs> uh, oh. um, because I, uh, because we're using this thing, which we're exposing away, but eh, maybe it's slightly better. I don't know. Oh, just to be clear. Do research on so it doesn't look like that's what I'm saying I'm doing. <laughs> Especially if you just look at the code and then we see what I'm saying. But uh oh yeah. Um so then now we can oh and this is J of course. So then now n sub i plus j is equal to a times b, right? Um yeah, and then we can do something like Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo, times length of self dot nums. Uh, let's see. So is this plus length of x dot nums? We may trim at the way in. But yeah, but then now all we have to do. Oh, this is the add. Um, and then now all we have to do is just do the carry from the beginning to the end. So yeah, my in range of length of answer. Uh, so carry is equal to zero. Uh, if mm, yeah, if answer sub i is greater than equal to ten, carry equals da, 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 or we, yeah. Uh, okay, we have to add the carry first, and then if this is greater than 10, we do the do, and answer of i is 10. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Um, yeah, and then if carry is greater than zero and start append, um, I guess we can do it this way for consistency. Don't, I don't know if that can happen actually, but we'll see. And then now we return. Um, so we're gonna re return a big int again. So yeah. And now we want to return a string. So what I'm doing now is actually way hacky, to be honest. Uh, let's see if that works first, and then maybe we'll think about cleaning up later, and or at least we'll talk about how to clean it up later. Uh, okay, I need that. Actually, that's why I keep on adding this to stuff. Oh, I have to get rid of um, if leading zeros if unnecessary, but hmm. yeah, like this one for example. Also, how do I have eleven? I mean, it seems like a lot of stuff is right, but a lot of stuff is not. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, so because this is... I guess this doesn't really matter because, okay, that's what I want. Um, but uh, again, we have to trim. Huh, silly mistake. Have to get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, and then now we just have to get rid of the leading zeros. Or, or uh, yeah. Well, 
greater than one and um and that's pretty much it i believe uh like i said it's going to be much slower than whatever but eh, it should be okay let's let's try a few things uh like the big zero case that's the one that we have to check and then maybe two zeros and then i think like i think we're mostly good to be honest otherwise like if it passes for these I'll be happy because I don't think I I have to worry about performance issue because and it's only a, a two hundred, so yeah. So this looks good. Let's give it a submit. Yeah, seems like I haven't haven't done this before, um, but yeah. Again, of course you could do it the, the other way, but uh, but yeah, uh, but yes, you can see this didn't even took that long. I actually thought I would take longer because I was thinking about doing repeated addition and shift and stuff like that. And that adding order things to support it but you don't even need it to be honest um you really want to just solve this one real quick and then of course there's a lot of stuff you can do to rewrite for this um but, but yeah and of course this is going to be n times m where n is the number of digits in nums one and m is the number of digits in in nums two and yeah uh and in terms of space it's going to be linear we don't really do anything funky we just have maybe yeah uh, you can write these things in a cleaner way and also in a more performant way. Definitely play around at home if you have questions about it and you can also come hang out in the chat. But yeah, um, that's all I have. Uh, good luck on the contest if you're doing it later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Have a great rest of the weekend and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.